All right, we're doing our salmon sockeye, our sockeye salmon ceviche. And last night, we filleted the salmon and we cut it up into quarter inch to half inch little chunks like that. As you can see, those little pieces there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a non Tupperware, like a glass or a ceramic bowl, and we're gonna toss the salmon in there and we are gonna put three limes of juice in there to coat it. This is the way we, you actually cook with ceviche. You're not actually cooking the fish, but you're gonna use the acid of the lime or the lemon to uh, cook the, the fish. Juicer. Add one second. And again, you can kind of see how small these pieces are. All like that. All right, now we're gonna put those three limes and we're gonna juice them in here. Wanna make sure all the fish is covered. Mix this around a bit too afterwards. I'm just gonna make sure that all that's covered. That lime juice, you can see it's pooling up at the bottom there. That's good. Might give it another turn in about an hour or 30 minutes. But So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this. I'm gonna get some saran wrap. Cover this nice and tight. This is gonna go in the fridge for one hour. This is the other ingredients that I'm gonna put in there. So I've got fresh zucchini. I've got a jalapeno, a red onion, two vine ripened tomatoes, avocado, green onion, and some pieces of mango. We've got pepper and coarse salt. We chop them up into tiny little minced uh, pieces and we're gonna be adding them into a separate bowl. So, and then I'll add this gently a little bit later. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna need a quarter of a cup of minced red onion. Just cutting them into small little pieces. Kind of bite-sized pieces that I like in my ceviche. And half a cup of cucumber. These cucumber pieces are supposed to be uh, about a quarter inch, so about kind of consistent with the same size as the salmon. I think that's a smart tip is to align your salmon and your other pieces to be about the same size, just to create kind of a simple consistency. Here's a half cup. Yep. Quarter of a cup green onions minced. So here's my green onions. A little flimsy, but these are from the garden, so they're real good. So Jalapeno. What I'm gonna do is a tablespoon of jalapeno diced up um, with or without the seeds. You can do it depending on how spicy you want it. If you're saying to yourself, it's painful to watch you cut this, I totally get it. I am not a master chef. Last thing we're at is gonna add two vine ripened tomatoes. So just pop this out and then we're gonna have to remove the seeds. How to do that? I don't know. These two are gonna be cut into quarter inch, quarter inch slices, so I'm just gonna pluck them out just like that. That's all I want. I'm gonna see what it looks like. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is uh, a half cup of mango slices. Mango slices. Okay, as you can see, that's uh, it's coming together nicely. We've got all the ingredients mixed mixed in there. We calls for our cilantro, um, quarter cup of cilantro if you want. I didn't add that because I'm not the biggest cilantro fan. 
And now we're just uh, going to cut up the avocado. But before I do that, I am missing something very important. Gotta have the local beer, the bridge. This is my favorite North Shore brewery. This is a great summer IPA. Oh yeah. Now to get at the avocado. What's up? We're gonna do quarter inch. sizes. All right, let's have a look at our, it's a full fridge. The lime has been coating it for quite some time, so it's, it's kind of, it looks like a little slight less red or pink and more, uh, yeah, a little more faded. That's good. So you know that the lime juice is doing its job. So, so let's strain this bad boy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add all these things together and then we're going to put the avocado on top and then we use um, we'll use some pepper and some coarse salt this is coarse salt and we'll use that to taste here we go I'm gonna dump it right in there so just get this in there I'm gonna mix that around a little bit in the strainer I'm not going to rinse or anything like that Lime is actually a nice flavor. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I just cleaned out the bowl while the salmon is straining out of there. And I'm gonna mix all this, just gonna toss it, because this is gonna be the final bowl I wanna present this in and eat it out of, so it's gonna be in this bowl. So here's all the food there. So I'm just gonna just quickly gently mix, mix that up. And then just gently. Oh, I don't have to mix it up too much when I add the salmon and the rest. And now, the salmon. So this is this is about um, two fillets chopped up, and I maybe about a fillet and a half. They're smaller fillets. This was a small dough, so it's not a ton. I'm just gonna mix the salmon in with the other ingredients. So let me look at that. The reason why I'm not mixing the avocado in quite yet. Um, as you can see, the avocado is just right there. I'm gonna put that in after I mix up this, just because that mushes up and smushes in with the mix. So it's kind of a nice, it's almost like a garnish, you know, so that sort of way, so. And you can see why everything was cut in quarter inch pieces, whatever the size you want, like you wanna mix them. So the mango, the fish, the onions, the green, everything should be kind of mixed or cut to the same proportion, that same size. So when you're getting bites, you're not getting, you know, gigantic pieces of onion or something or mango. And, and so that's kind of the idea, the big idea. So now we're ready for the avocado and then salt and pepper to, to taste. This is one avocado. I probably would almost add a second one if, you, if you're a big avocado fan. I might even add a second one. But that's kind of the, the finished product. Okay, so there we go. There's our sockeye salmon ceviche. The last things we have to do again is just add our, our coarse salt to taste. Um, I'm not going to give an exact amount. I'll just kind of just go with how it feels. And then why not try it with some uh, with a little nacho chip or however you like to do your ceviche. And of course your uh, ce cerveza. Let's try this out. Let's go. crazy that's just on the top because I'm just gonna try a little bit I'm not gonna mix it moment of truth let's go for this dig in huge bite let's try this out hmm oh that was good wow Mm. The sockeye is not at all chewy. Uh, the texture is perfect with that lime juice. Just, just really a great texture with the rest of it. Um, the only thing that's kind of crunchy is maybe the onion, which is perfect with the chip. It's 
the textures. That is, boom, that is awesome. This is awesome. Woo. You take this to any party? My goodness, this will be the dish of the night. This is a killer appy. Wow. That's good. This is good. Look at this thing. Mmm. It's so good. Not all fishy. This is just fantastic. Wow. This is better than what I thought it would be. Ah, so good. About does it for this dish. If you'd like to see more of these, just let me know in the comments. And I would love to do more of this. There's a lot of fish that I would love to experiment and try really interesting recipes and try new things with, especially right now as sockeye are running up the Fraser. Uh, there's millions of them running up, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are doing a lot of different sockeye recipes. This is just one I thought I would try out. This is killer. Try it out. Um, <laughs> man, this is, I highly recommend it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate your feedback. We're going sockeye fishing. Yes. What kind of fish are we going for, Asher? Uh, sockeye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two, one, tease. I think I got it. We got the two fish. There's dad. It's nice. Yeah.